Do you like Fair Faucet? Of course you do. Well, I have the perfect vintage Fair Faucet movie. Well, Extremities is a 1986 suspense thriller starring uh, Farrah Fawcett, James Russo, Alfre Woodard, and Diana Scarwood. Now, you'll remember Diana from Mommy Dearest. Remember? No wire hangers. Well, she was she played Christine, um, daughter of Joan Crawford in Mommy Dearest. Now, back then, this film was rated R. It has mature subject matter. Um, I think by today's standards, it would be rated at least NC-17. It has an hour and a half runtime. Um, and let me tell you the basic premise. So there's this predator played by James Russo going around uh, this town in California, preying on young girls. Well, he's out trolling. Um, for young girls on this one night and goes to this uh, ice cream parlor and starts like lurking on this young girl uh, at the ice cream parlor. But just when she's about to leave, um, Farrah Fawcett pulls up. So he abandons that scheme and then he starts preying on Farrah Fawcett. Now Farrah Fawcett is just coming back from, uh, she got off work and then she went to play racquetball and then she just wants an ice cream cone, but the ice cream parlor is closed and they're not willing to let her come in just for an ice cream cone. So she leaves, well, she gets into her car and creepo James Russo is in the back seat. So he, um, puts a knife to her neck and he says drive just drive and she sees uh, you know customers in the parking lot but he says if you scream I'll kill you so she has to pull off and drive to this dark remote area under a bridge real like seedy under the bridge he proceeds to try to attack her try to uh, assault her and I mean, they're tussling or whatever. She manages to break free. She runs, she books it out of there. And then she runs into the highway and starts flagging down uh, people on the highway. And she uh, gets the attention of this old couple. They let her in her car and they drop her off at the police station. Remember, this is the 80s. She goes in there. She tells about her attack. She abandoned her car. She left her uh, license in the car. He knows where she lives. She's terrified. She gets a female police officer. She misunderstands the um, uh, report. She takes down the police report wrong. Um, and it's as if she thinks Farrah was coming on to this guy. So anyway... Um, they say, well, he didn't do anything, so there's nothing we can do. If he attacked you, then we can do something. I don't know. So anyway, she's terrified. She goes home. She has two roommates. It's Alfre Woodard and Diana Scarwit. And she ends up changing the lock. She gives them the keys or whatever. She stays home. They have to go to work. This is uh, days later. She, they have to go to work. She stays home by herself. And she tries to, you know, go out in the garden and just keep her mind occupied because she's been having nightmares the whole bit. And then Creepo James comes to the door acting like he's at the wrong place. He's like asking for somebody named Jill or somebody. Um, and she's like, no, you have the wrong address. And she's trying to get rid of him. And she's already creeped out because she's never seen his face. He was masked. So she has no idea it could be literally anyone in this big city. So he gets to barging in and to finish the job. And I mean, it just gets more suspenseful and there's back and forth. I mean, it's just really, really intense. I highly recommend this film. Now, again, it was the 80s. The choreography and the stunts aren't the best, but you'll get the the sense, the intensity of the scenes because, woo, they just get 
I mean, it just gets, the stakes are raised scene after scene. It's such a great movie. She was at the top of her game. Um, again, it's called Extremities. You have to see this film.